Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today we proceed with our next lecture. That is, uh, lecture 8, box modulations part 2. So, uh, what have you learned last week? So, last week you have learned about uh, the type of uh, modulations and there are uh, two types two types of uh, model pass modulation there is uh, analog and digital so for analog there are Pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation, and the other one is pulse position modulation. And for digital, you have PCM, pulse code modulation, and DM, delta modulation. And for the processes in pulse modulations, there are Mm, three process in pulse modulation so the first one is uh, sampling second one is quantization and the third one is uh, coding for uh, analogs, analog modulations, so uh, only apply uh, the first process that is sampling. So for sampling, all, all type are uh, use sampling. Okay, uh, for the for uh, sampling, both type are uh, use the apply the sampling process um, but for um, quantization and coding only for the digital uh, digital signal that is for uh, PCM and DM okay, and then um, we learn about the sampling theory so for sampling theory there are um, uh, to get the proper to get the proper uh, sampling we need to uh, follow the Nyquist theory that is the frequency of sampling is greater or same double of frequency maximum of frequency signal and uh, there are three types of uh, samplings ideals natural and flat top okay, and we also learn about block diagram of sampling you can refer to, uh, to our previous uh, slide uh, to uh, to see the production of the sampling. So today we will learn about the generation of pulse analog modulations, processes of pulse uh, code modulation (PCM), uh, quantization process, terms in quantization process, and quantization error. For the first one is uh, how to generate the analog pulse modulations. Previously, we have learned that uh, for the for the PEM from analog signal. So this is the analog signal.
Okay, so for uh, analog signal, so we have uh, uh, the generation of analog pulse modulation. So we have uh, we have three. Um, three types of analog pulse modulation that is pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation, and pulse uh, position modulation. For uh, okay, for analog modulation, okay, for analog uh, modulation, okay, usually we have for the information signal. We have V and T. And here. And then for uh, to get the PAM, uh, PWM, and okay, so this is PWM, uh, pulse speed modulation. Okay, to get the uh, uh, PAM, PWM, and PPM. We need to uh, multiply with the digital signal. So digital signal like this. So this is VDT. And uh, for the PAM. VPAM is uh, proportional to the VM. So you have uh, the signal is in digital signal, but the amplitude is based on this uh, VM amplitude. So it's become like this. So uh, for the PWM. PWM. So, uh, this one is uh, the period is proportional to the VMT. So, uh, for example, here we have smaller, and then because the amplitude is uh, increased, so it's uh, the uh, it's become bigger and then smaller again. So, uh, this is VMT. This is the period based on the amplitude. And for the third one is PPM. PPM. And for the PPM, times delay uh, is proportional to the VM. So, it's uh, same as uh, PPMW, but um, this one is um, because there is a relation relationship between PAM, PWM, and PPM. So for the PPM, it's uh, something like uh, this. So this is based on the time delay. Okay. So here from from here, you can see that from analog signals. And then it's convert to PAM first by uh, multiply with the uh, this one is multiply with VDT and then uh, this PWM is based on PAM and PPM based on uh, PWM so there is relationship between uh, this uh, three analog to understand the uh, relationship between these three so uh, we need to go uh, one by one okay for the pulse amplitude modulation the signal is sample at regular interval such 
that each sample is proportional to the amplitude of the signal at the sampling instant. So this one is same uh, like what we have learned before. This one uh, from from analog to T A N. Uh, it's a fly sampling process. here the uh, this one is follow the uh, sampling theory that's uh, for minimum distortion the sampling rate should be more than twice of the signal frequency this is uh, F uh, sampling rate F sampling is greater than 2 F uh, max noise okay. the VMT here so VMT is the uh, modulating signal or the information signals and then go through the uh, with voltage DC shifter and uh, then multiply with VDT. VDT is the this is the discrete signals. So uh, this is the discrete signal. So the equation is VDT equal to ED. Uh, tot D 2 ED by D over tot D. This ED is the uh, amplitude and this is uh, tot D is the time delay and CN is the coefficient. So after uh, go through the multiplier uh, it's become VPAM so the, um, the equation of VPAM is uh, Okay. D, D, D over T multiply by 1 plus cos omega mt plus cos omega D, T minus omega mt uh, and so on. Okay. And for the pulse with modulation. Uh, the pass modulation in this modulation the amplitude is maintained constant uh, but the duration or the length or the width of each path is uh, according to the instantaneous value of the analog signal so this one is uh, the width or the top is uh, proportional to the VNT ok um, ok for this one is um, use V to D converter so um, for okay, this one PAM is like uh, previously we have For example, like this, and then after convert to a uh, T, this uh, okay, this uh, the amplitude of of uh, PAM is convert to the uh, width of the uh, PWM 
So this one is PP dan kemudian M. So it's PP. For example, this is small. And then we go and small again. Okay, this is uh, based on the amplitude of PAM. Okay, for this one, the equations is uh, Okay, this one is based on the pulse wave. So, uh, here we have uh, the pulse uh, delay is equal to Okay, this one is the equation for the uh, pulse wave thought deep and then um, previously um, for the okay for the equation we have um, p v p w m is equal to uh, this one is uh, over This one is uh, the equation for uh, okay, this one is the equation for PAM and then when uh, when we want to get the equation for PWM VPWM this TD uh, put into this one so it's become Okay, this one uh, same with the okay, put this here. So uh, this is the uh, equation for the VPWM. So it's go through the uh, V to T converter. And to get uh, this one is uh, to to generate the PWM. Okay, to, from PAM. Uh, generate to uh, PWM and to get uh, again the PVMT so it go through P eh, sorry V PWM this one go through low pass filter So this one is the PWM detection. This PWM for PWM detection. This one is PWM generation. For the pulse, but for the pulse position relation, uh, this type of uh, 
of modulation, the sample waveform has peak amplitude and wave, but the position of each pulse is varied per instantaneous value of the analog signals. So this one is um, this position of each pulse or uh, this is the uh, pulse delay or period delay. So the T D uh, are proportional to the uh, sorry, sorry to B M. So uh, the plot diagram to get the pulse position relation from the P W M. This one is previous P W M. Uh, it's go through the discriminator rectifier pulse transfer and it will get a uh, V P P M. Okay, this is the comparison of PAM, PWM, and PPM. Okay, firstly, I write the okay for the VPM. Uh, it's like this, and PPWM. The V is uh, okay, and then this one is position. This uh, B B W M. This one B B W M. And then this one is position. Okay. Okay. So for the uh. VPAM amplitude is varied, so uh, this one is amplitude is varied. PWM the width is varied, and PPM is position is varied. And this bandwidth depend on the width of the pulse. So uh, for PWM the bandwidth depends on the rise time of the pulse, and for PPM the bandwidth depends on the rise time. Okay, this one is same because uh, PWM and PPM is uh, time based. This one is MPT based. So uh, that's why the bandwidth is uh, same, the rise time of the pulse. And for the uh, instantaneous transmitter power, worries with the amplitude of the pulse. For the power, um, the power for the PAM instantaneous transmitter power varies the amplitude of the pulse and for PWM is varies with the amplitude and the width of the pulse and for the uh, pulse position modulations uh, the power remain constant with the pulse of the uh, with the width of the pulse and for the PAM, capacity is high. So the uh, the it is uh, complex, and the system capacity for PWM and PPM is low. And also for the noise, because of the system is uh, complex, the noise uh, the noise also high. And for the PWM and PPM, the noise is low. And uh, okay, it is similar to AM. So uh, it's uh, quite similar with the AM. And okay, this is quite similar with AM. This is quite similar to FM. And this is quite similar to the phase modulations. Okay, now we proceed uh, to the... Okay, now we proceed to the pulse code modulations, uh, which uh, this is the digital pulse modulation. So, pulse code modulation is a method used to represent an analog signal in terms of digital words. So, there are three processes to uh, get the pulse code modulation. That is, the first one is uh, sampling, 
second one is quantization and then coding so this is uh, the first this is um, analog signal and uh, it's uh, going to the sampling phase sampling process then quantization process and the last one is coding process so it will become digital signal we already learned about sampling before because sampling is a uh, same for um, the analog pulse modulation so all the pulse modulation going through sampling process so we have already learned uh, sampling and after this we proceed with quantization okay before we proceed with uh, quantization um, we uh, looks to the block diagram of PCM first as I already uh, mentioned before analog signals like um, uh, modulating signal so it going through sampling uh, so after sampling it's become like PAM uh, same after sampling uh, the digital signals based on the amplitude of the analog signal and then it's uh, do the quantization, quantization process so the quantization is divide the uh, divide the signal digital signal into quantized signal so there are many table here so this is quantized signals and then encoding into uh, digital data as mentioned before there are three processes of uh, PCM sampling quantization and coding so sampling we already learned uh, there are natural ideal and fact of uh, sampling and today we focus on quantization so there are many things uh, in the quantization so today we will focus uh, on quantization so next week we will learn about coding quantization process is uh, the process of measuring the numerical value of the sampler and giving them a table giving them a table value in a suitable scale so um, uh, so it's uh, divide it's into several interval interval called quantize, quantizing interval for example the first um, quantizing, quantizing interval is uh, 10 to 20 mega volt and then the second quantizing interval is 20 um, to 30 millivolt. So, for example, here, uh, okay, we have, okay, we have signal, for example, and then it's divide into several table. So the first table here. Uh, so the first table is uh, 10 to 20 mega millivolts and then 20, second uh, 20 to 30 millivolts and then this uh, interval are code in binary form will be power of 2 so it's become 2 power of n there are 3 terms in quanti quantization process that is quant quantization levels, quantization intervals, and quantization value. Okay, for the quantization levels, uh, the formula is L equal to 2 to the power of N. And N uh, is uh, the number of... Uh, and N used to represent each sample. Okay, for example, if uh, the N is 3, so for the uh, quantization level is L to the power of N here. So, 2 power of 3 equal to 8. So, there is 8 level for N is 3. And then, quantization intervals, uh, 
the formula is delta V equal VPP over L. L is here. So, L here refer to the quantization uh, level. So, uh, the definition of the quantization interval is the magnitude different between the quantization level or the voltage each quantization level. For example, we have a uh, 5 milli in 5 volt amplitude. So the VPP is 10 and divided by the quantized level L equal to uh, 8. So the quantized level, so every every uh, table is 1.25. So the uh, this is the okay, uh, formula, and then the quantization value is the middle voltage for each uh, quantized level. So the middle voltage, for example, uh, we have n equal to three. So same with here. So the L equal to eight, and we have the signal is. Uh, the amplitude is uh, 5, so the VPP is um, plus minus 5. So the quantization level of uh, of the middle value is uh, for the V node. V node is uh, this. this. So um, the bottom one, the uh, value for V node is negative 5 because this is the uh, amplitude of negative voltage plus 1.25 V over 2. So this is uh, the formula is um, equal to um, amplitude negative V uh, yang uh, negative and then plus the the V over 2. Uh, so the formula is like this. Uh, okay. okay. So uh, the value for V naught is negative 4.375 volt. Okay. For the quantization, uh, there are two types of uh, quantization. So Okay, for quantization, there are two types of uh, quantization. Uniform and non-uniform. Okay, we proceed with uh, uniform quantization first. So, uniform quantization is a quantization process. It's a quantization process with a uniform or fixed quantization interval. So, uh, the interval here is fixed between this. Um, so, uh, for example, for this, uh, we have n equal to 3 and there are L is level, there are at level. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 level, so it represents by 0, 0, 0 until 1, 1, 1, 1 for 8. And then, uh, the interval is, this is quantization interval. 1.25 so the uh, difference between uh, 4.375 and 3.125 is 1.25 okay but uh, because this one is the uh, this mean the uh, amplitude positive amplitude and negative amplitude so for this one the difference between this is uh, delta V over 2. Mm. So, uh, okay, but 
all this is 1.25 the interval is 1.25 but here the interval is 0.625 ok and the bit rates is uh, FB equal and FS uh, basic basic uniform calculation they also have a uh, folded phrase uh, this one is and the other one is folded, folded binary. Okay, what is a uh, folded binary code uniform correlation? Is um, it is um, same like um, previous uh, correlation uniform correlation, but here there is, for example, here you can see. Uh, this number okay. this number same with next number 0 1 0 1 uh, 1 0 1 0 and then 1 1 and 1 1 and this one 0 and 1 refer to the positive and negative value so this one, uh, this code is uh, folded. So it folded at the x axis, and the number is same, but the first number is referred to the sign bit. Oh, sign bit, and this is the value. Okay, and for this, uh, this why for the uh, same code represents several samples. So some of the um, some of the code, for example, here, all these three have same code, one one one, but have different amplitude. Uh, so by using this um, folded uh, binary code, some of the case it have case like this, and then there are this uh, different between the quantized. Uh, level or quantized value with the real value we call it as quantization error ok uh, let's try the uh, first example so we have analog signal amplitude is limited to 10 volt so this is the amplitude then what is uh, the amplitude and then converted to uh, PCM signal with N digit so N is given here A, B, C and D different N and calculate the quantization quantization interval ok first you need to um, uh, remember the formula so quantization level is delta V equal to VPP over L. Okay. So uh, so the answer okay, like this. So um because the amplitude is ten, so the VPP is twenty and uh, for n equal to 3, the L is equal to 8. And um, then 20, the VPP min divided by 8 is become 2.5 volts. And for n5, the L is 125. And the interval is 0.625 volts. And for n7, the L is 100. Um, oh sorry, this one is 32 this one is 32 so the this one is 0 0.625 and for L equal to N equal to 7 L level equal to 128 and the interval is 0 0.15 Okay, uh, now we proceed with uh, non-uniform quantization 
as I told you before, the quotation uh, can be divided into uniform and non-uniform. So, um, non-uniform quantization, okay, uh, uniform quantization of signal with high peak over average voltage is insufficient. That is mean for uh, for high peak voltage. For example, we have, uh, for example, we have a signal like this, and then okay like this. Okay, this mean uh, when we have like this, the quantization we do uh, okay when we divide with uniform quantization, we may um, cannot cannot see this uh, small peak. So that's why for uniform quantization is insufficient. Okay, so that's why um, okay uh, for uniform quantization more levels are required. When more quantization level increase at the weak signal, this will increase the length of binary bits used and will thus enhance the signal's bandwidth. Okay, so when we want to have a uh, more interval here, okay, for example, we have more interval here and uh, at here, and it's become uh, the interval of the um, the quantization will increase uh, then enhance the signal bandwidth uh, so it's also increase the bandwidth therefore signal with vast difference of component between strong and weak voltage is more suitable to quantize using non-uniform so okay this one uh, signal with vast difference of components between strong and weak voltage is suitable using non-uniform quantization compared to uniform uh, quantization because for uh, non-uniform quantization uh, the it's uh, divide um, for uh, uniform quantization okay, this one for a uh, uniform quantization, process divide each interval with uniform value. But here, in um, non-uniform in this non-uniform quantization, or also known as compounding, is obtained by compressing the high signal value before uniform quantization so this one uh, and in the receiver the signal value will expand it again so uh, for this non-uniform we have a uh, signal is analog signal and then uh, compress first And then uniform quantization. And then uh, expanding. Okay, this one is for non uniform quantization. This uh, non uniform quantization, also known as a uh, compounding, which uh, means it's compressed expanding. So, uh, this one non uniform so known as compounding, and then okay, for example, here we have input with high amplitude here and then go to the compressor it will reduce the amplitude and I want to get the output it expand again so uh, 
This one is uh, to produce the uniform SNR. SNR is uh, related to the noise. And here is the example of uh, non-uniform condensation versus uh, uniform condensation. Okay, for example, we have uh, this big, okay, this big signal and then weak signal. Okay, this is a uh, strong signal and weak signal. And this one uh, for uniform quantization. So the interval is uh, same for all the quantization uh, include the weak signal. So the interval is like this. Okay. And yeah. Okay, like that. Okay, and then, um, but for this one, uh, you can see that this is the uh, peak of the weak signal. But after condensation, is only intersect at 1 and 2, 3, 4, 4 points. So, uh, we cannot get the detail of this weak signal. But... If we do non-uniform quantization, so for the weak signal, we divide into several more. This, uh, this one is the smaller, smaller interval. So, we can get uh, details of the, uh, of the weak signals. That's why for um, the signal, we have uh, uh, high amplitude and uh, low amplitude so non-uniform quantization is uh, better and for the non-uniform uh, non-uniform quantization there are there are two two uh, confounding law is described as International Telecommunication Union IPU. So there are two law that is A law and M law or mu law. And this A law um, is used in Europe and this other use in Europe and new law used in uh, USA uh, North America and also Japan okay so the formula for the uh, A law is y equal to 1 plus log e x over 1 plus log e for e over and for 1 over e for the x between uh, 1 and 1 over e and for the x uh, smaller than 1 over e and is between 0 and uh, 1 over e so the formula is uh, e x over y plus log e. E is the compressed uh, compressed parameter. So uh, usually the e number is ninety seven point six. Okay, and for the mu law is a uh, the equation is y equal log 1 plus mu x over log 1 plus mu. And the value for mu is 255 for all condition. And for both law, the value of x is ei over... Uh, EI over EI max and Y is E naught over E naught max. That is the EI is uh, input. 
input voltage and inert is output voltage. Okay, and we proceed with uh, the block diagram of non-uniform condensation and decondensation. For uh, uniform condensation is straight away, but for non-uniform condensation, for the sample signals is uh, first one is sampling, and do this uh, this light blue is a uh, non-uniform condensation. So it compress first and then do the condensation, and uh, after that coating. When we want to decondensation or we want to receive the sample after coating, we coat uh, and then decondensation and then expand again. Okay, and uh, for the compounding, there is a uh, difference between analog and digital signal. For analog signal, compression process is done on the input before sampling and coding. So, before uh, sampling is compressed. But, uh, for digital signals, the compression process is done after the signal is sampled. So, for example, we have analog signal here and do the analog compression, uh, compression first. And then, uh, change uh, analog digital converter. So, same like here, expand. And uh, for the digital signal, it's uh, after, after signal is sampled. That means, ABC is sample process. After sample, do the compression. Uh, and then expand first and do the uh, DAC. Okay. So this is the difference between analog signal and digital signal. Okay, for the last slide is a uh, quantization noise or error. Quantization uh, noise occur when the sample voltage is different for the quantum value. And this difference becomes error or noise for the quantization. So, the uh, the formula for the uh, quantization error is SNRQ equal to 1.76 plus 6.02 N. And here is depend on the uh, number of bits. per sample. So like before we have n equal to 3, n equal to 7, so I just substitute the n number. Okay, that's all for today. So anything uh, you can ask me if you have problem. Okay, thank you.